Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, Jesus spoke these words. He said, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. I love this verse. I love this passage. And I just have a couple of thoughts I want to share with you this morning. The first one is, we are the light and we're supposed to shine so that people can see our good works. Did you notice that? Let your, let your light shine before others so they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. So we want people to see our good works. By the way, this is why Calvary serves our community. This is why your character matters seven days a week. This is why we want you to tip generously, drive patiently, and just be kind to all people at all times so that people can see the good that we do and possibly want to listen to the gospel. Now, notice it's not so live your life in such a way so that people can see your moral lifestyle and, and be drawn to God, because that's not going to happen. That doesn't draw people. But love in action draws people to Jesus. So remember that. We're the light and we're supposed to shine so that people can see our good works. And then the second thought is the light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. See, our world is growing darker. We know that. Our culture is promoting death, celebrating sin, blaspheming joyfully, and criminalizing biblical faith. Okay, those things are going on, and I hear people lament. And I agree, by the way. It is tragic where our culture is going. But at the same time, I hear them not just lament, but they also panic. They, they start catastrophizing the world that we're living in and, and kind of freaking out about what's going to happen. And, and I don't want them to despair about the spiritual condition of our world because God's still in control. And the light shines in the darkness. Did you catch that? The light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot extinguish the light. The darkness can't put the light out. In fact, the darker the night, the brighter the light shines. So let's not be afraid, let's not panic, let's not worry, let's not freak out about the world we live in. Instead, let's be the light and let's shine our light in such a way that others see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. So today be encouraged because no matter how great the darkness is, the light can't put it out, which means the light, your light, is going to shine. Let's shine for Jesus. I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.